Singapore is great. It's been voted the most livable city in Asia countless times, and this affluent island is a major global city. But who built all of this? It's fair to say that they helped build this city, the foreign or migrant workers who have come here in search of a better life. And with that come social issues that cannot be avoided. One guy saw a problem and decided to do something about it. This is Chai and Joe, and this is MTV Generation Change. One of the workers that I hung out with in the back alley of my house, I kept asking him, Basha, why don't you cut your hair? And he just kept avoiding my question and said, I'll cut tomorrow, I'll cut next week, because his father was ill and he needed to save money to send back to his family. So Basha was your first client? He was my first guinea pig. Your <laughs> guinea pig? <laughs> that started Back Alley Barbers. Welcome to the bottom of the bottom. Uh, free hair cutting? No? Free no, haircut? No time, ma. Free haircut? Free, okay. no? Are you free no. now? Okay, it's just here. Accomplishment of the year. I deserve an award. It's really about like what I should say, snipping down social barriers through a conversation. Things and our impressions really can change about these people that we meet every single day. So Yinjo is not around right now, so it's time for us to gossip about him a bit. All right. So uh, how long have you known him? Uh, I know him around two years plus. All right. Actually, how I know he's a really great man. Help us. So oh, he's helping. So he, what happened? He's we're gossiping about him. <laughs> Seeing what he does here, I see that he has a big heart, you know? But you said that he's beyond Actually, haircutting. Actually, this free right? haircut is very small thing. Small yeah. thing. Yeah. Very yeah. small. But he helps us more than that. So you're not only here in Geelong, the back alleys here, but all around Singapore. Yeah. Rental flat communities, nursing homes, and uh, migrant worker shelters, where injured workers with salary problems would go to. Uh, and that's where we met them where the needs were. It's an easy skill to learn, by the way. You want to try? I'm excited right now. So you just do a number one yeah. from here to here. Well done. Hey, very good. Is that good? Yeah, that's good. Okay. So you've been doing this for five years now. What is that one ultimate goal that you have in mind? You know, most Singaporeans have full-time jobs and they get caught up with our work and yeah. we're a phase in life where we prioritize career. I think one of the goals is really to enable our volunteers to find an avenue to serve. We also see a lot of youths coming up and joining us as well. And I think our goal is really to be that rich with this population of people who would otherwise not really have an avenue or a voice. Yin Jo was moved to action by these people who have made Singapore their home. A haircut is a basic everyday routine, but it can go far beyond that. It's become a social movement, creating trust, sparking conversations, and cultural connections. Small steps that make profound changes, cutting down social barriers a snip at a time. There are many issues in this world, and as individuals, we often may not know how to respond. The back alley barbers, we started from one person showing love to his neighbor, and now we've grown to a team of like-minded people rallying together around the cause. My name is Chao Ying Zhou, and this is MTV Generation Change.